Welcome to Homespun from Niagara, and this is a tribute song and a story about one of Butler's Rangers who fought in two wars, in the Revolutionary War of 1777 and in the War of 1812. His name, Richard, Richard Pierpoint, also known as Popine, Pearpoint, Captain Pearpoint, Captain Dick, Black Rick. A loyalist soldier, community leader, and storyteller. Oh, there's so much to tell, so much to learn. I hope you enjoy this tribute to Richard the Ranger. Do you know the loyalist butler? John Butler was his name. Did you know his namesake rangers? Fought in snow and ice cold rain. Chief Red led native rangers. There were black-faced rangers, too. They were former slaves who walked toward hope on an underground railroad. Former slaves who walked toward hope on an underground railroad. Some say a dozen black men, others say there were maybe three. In 1777, but the Yanks were you and me. There was one black man for certain, fought with farmers and natives too. His name was Richard Pierpoint, he fought for me and he fought for you. He was a former slave who walked for hope on an underground railroad. As a teenager, Richard was taken from Bondu, now Senegal, West Africa, and sold into slavery with the British, then across the Atlantic, resold in the colonies. He regained his freedom during the American Revolution and in 1777 settled in Niagara and fought with Butler's Rangers against those damn Yankees. And in the War of 1812, he petitioned for an all-black unit to fight for the British, and he fought with the Colored Corps. The Corps fought at the Battle of Queenston Heights, and they were among the first reinforcements to arrive in support of John Norton's Six Nations Warriors. And after the Battle of Fort George, Richard and the Corps supported the British troops in the Battle of Stony Creek. Now you know the loyalist butler Now you know his name You know his namesake rangers Hot in snow and ice cold rain Chief Grant led native rangers And they were black faced rangers too They were former slaves Who walked toward hope On an underground railroad They were former slaves who walked toward hope to their freedom on an underground on January the 19th, 1820, in recognition for his contribution during the War of 1812, Richard Pierpoint was granted 100 acres of land on the Grand River in Garafraxa Township near present-day Fergus, Ontario. Now in his mid-70s, Pierpoint was still living in Niagara and finding it difficult to support himself as a laborer. On July 21st, 1821, Richard petitioned the government of Upper Canada at York for passage back to West Africa. And in his position, Pierpoint pled that he is, above all things, desirous to return to his native country in Africa. The colonial government did not grant Pierpoint's wish, and he accepted his land in Garafraxa. His presence there predates the settlement of Fergus, and he died there in 1838. For 96 years, Richard the Ranger lived an exceptional life. <laughs> 